You click this video because you may be sensing there's a disconnect between you and your team members and you want to know why. I am proud of you for going deeper. You may be sensing that there's a way to bridge the disconnect that's currently happening. And you're right. On this video, I'm going to share with you one communication technique that you can use that really will help you become a better manager starting today. So let's get to it. So you want to be a better manager. You want to have less disconnects with your team member. What I would tell you to do is to focus on getting better at active listening. Active listening really is a doorway for increased belonging and innovation and for people really truly feeling heard in their shoes and when they're around you. It imparts a sense of respect and importance on people as they're in your presence when they know you're leaning in to really listen to them. I was in a speaking engagement I was in and there was somebody that was in my audience. And afterward, the young lady came up to me and said, thank you so much for sharing with the group about listening. Because one time I was sharing something with one of my managers, he asked to have time with me to, and wanted to hear my perspective. But as I was leaning in to share with him, he didn't lean in with me. He was disconnected. He was looking at his phone. His eyes were like looking all around. And I could tell he was not really focused on my needs. When it comes to making sure you don't have a disconnect with your team members, you have to be a person who gives great eye contact. Now, I don't mean in that weird, creepy kind of way. I just mean they, you want people to have evidence or see the signs of your interest in them. You want them to know that you respect them, that their time with you is valuable, and that they're validated in your presence. If we don't give people our undivided attention, we don't then handle their feedback as a gift, they don't feel important, they don't feel special, you're not magnetic, you're not someone who people want to be around. As we think about the way the workplace is today, people are very short uh, attention span and they want to be at a place where they know people are actively with them, following along with their journey, caring about them as people and as humans. And if we don't do that, they're immediately like, this is just like every other place. We begin to kind of push them away and then they don't want to stay with us. If we want to become magnetic leaders in cultures that are magnetic, that draw people in and make them want to stay with us, we need to do things that impart value, that impart importance, that impart respect. I don't care which generations we're looking at, we all want and need that. So, like I said, if you want to lean in and you want to be better at active listening, here's a couple tips I would do. One is, again, leaning in with great eye contact. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are uh, giving them undivided attention but you're doing that by asking good questions. I always say that it, sometimes the questions are the person on the other end, but they're also for the person who's asking them. Because not only are you getting to the bottom of what the person wants, but it also is keeping your mind actively going along with what they're saying. So do something we call conversational threading, where you talk to someone at one part of their conversation and you use that part of the conversation for the next part of your question. So if they say something like, Yes, and it was a really hard day when I was going over here to, um, to see my friend. And you'll say, gosh, I could see how that was um, hard. And so that I'm curious to know X, Y, Z. And then, well, why did you do that? And you just continue to turn um, to thread in everything they're saying in the previous part of the conversation so that you're following along like a thread and they know you're following along like a thread. So those are a couple things that you can do. And I would say finally, make sure you handle their feedback like a gift very gently so that they know that you take what they're saying seriously and not lightly. Because in most places on the planet, most of us are fake listening. We're bobblehead listening, bobbing our head up and down, right? And we're not really taking feedback or requests or complaints and handling them with, with, with real gentleness with real um, conscientiousness, right, and concern. You wanna be known as that caring leader, that leader who really does care, who leans in to listen. That's how you bridge that gap. So I'm proud of you for reaching out and watching this video, clicking the video, uh, to know that you're someone who really does care about the people that look to you for guidance in some way. Um, and if you continue to be that person who actively leans in, gives the active eye contact, asks the right questions, handles that feedback with, with very good gentleness and respect, you, your people will know that you care about them and you'll keep them much longer. Be well.